We are back at Lucky Strike Lanes for more action from the Pro Series Doubles Tournament. That's Mike McIntosh announcing the pairings. Against Dave Dupuis and Mark Gregory. On five and six, John Steiner and Dave Chesterco. Against Sean McKinley and Sean Baker. And on seven and eight, is Steve Reno. So we're going to show you the two matches in the middle. Nick Norcross and Jim Putney. Hawk Hallis and Steve Vadney against Dave Dupuis and Mark Gregory. And on that's on lane three and four. And on five and six, you'll see... John Starner and Dave Chesterkove against Sean McKinley and Sean Baker. So Dave Dupuy and Hawk Hallis are getting ready to go on three and four. Dave starts off with a six drop, leaving the four horsemen left side. Hawk Hallis looking at the 610. Sean McKinley getting started on lane six, drops eight with the first ball. Sean McKinley and Sean Baker are members of the Lucky Strike team in the uh, World Team Tournament. So this is a home game for them they, as they bowl out of Lucky Strike. John Starner and Dave Chesterkov are members of Extreme TNT, who had a good run at Worlds this year up in Bangor. Spares for, for uh, both McKinley and Starner. And we'll show you the shot that John Starner made in just a moment. And there's a spare by Hawk Hallis in the second box. Here's another look at the shot that John Starner makes. Right side of the head pin converts this perfectly. One, two, four, six, eight, ten. Very crisp spare to begin. Sean McKinley started with a four fill. And John Starner filled his spare with six. <coughs> Sean is looking at four horsemen right plus the five and nine. And he's got it. That's a great shot right there by Sean McKinley. We'll have a, a look at the replay. He gets a very light hit in the 1-3 pocket. The head pin goes to the sidewall, comes back and takes out the 5. And Sean with a demonstrative reaction to that. That's a great shot right there. Starting off with two spares in a row. And then John Starner almost converts that leave that Don Gillis used to call a clipped wing spread eagle. Two, three, four, six. John will have a 10 box in the second. Dave Dupuy and Hawk Hallis, along with their partners, Steve Vadney and Mark Gregory, are among the top veterans in the game. Dave is the two-time reigning Western New England Candlepin Association Pro Tour Bowler of the Year. And Hawk Hallis has a long resume, many, uh, many TV appearances and tournament wins. Meanwhile, Sean McKinley makes his third spare in a row over there on lane six. John Starner also with a spare. Dave Dupuy with a spare in the uh, fourth, converting that three, five, six triangle with some tricky wood that he uh, kicked the three pin off the wall. Sean McKinley with eight as he begins the fourth frame. John Starner with 
also with an A drop on the spare. John McKinley with four spares in a row. He's got 59 plus the spare fell through four. He is off to a flying start. Dave Dupuy with a six fill on that spare. He's got a four, six, seven, ten. Hawk Hallis also with a six drop. He has the four horsemen left side. Hawk falls out of Central Park Lanes in East Boston. And he almost steals that one. He, he missed the head pin, but uh, got a piece of wood to come back. And there's a strike by Sean McKinley. He has got 79 plus the strike fill through five. He has got five marks in a row. Really quick start for Slinky, as he's known. John Starner with the spare. And we're gonna give you another look at this strike by Sean McKinley, kind of a wall shot, medium mixer. And the head pin goes to the side wall and comes back to take out the five. That's five marks in a row. So Sean will give way to his partner, Sean Baker. And as we take a look at the scoreboard, just one pin separating Hawk Hallis and David Wee. Sean McKinley leads John Starner by 16, each, each one of them having a, uh, a mark to fill. Mark Gregory and Steve Vadney will step up in the match on lanes three and four. And Dave Chesterkov and Sean Baker on five and six. Dave Chesterkov with a spare to begin. Converts that 1-3, two pin combination. Sean Baker with a 10. Steve Badney with a 10, Mark Gregory with nine to start. Steve Badney has more TV appearances than, uh, than almost anyone else. I don't know how many in all, but uh, he had many, many appearances on the Channel 5 show over the years and also uh, on Channel 50, as well as the Comcast Candlepin Challenge. He's been one of the top bowlers in the state of New Hampshire for quite a number of years. Sean Baker goes by that two-pinner in the... Uh, second box and Dave Chester Cove also will be open. Steve Adney with a spare in the second. Mark Gregory on lane four is one of the rare guys to have thrown 500 for three. I believe his high triple is 510. And there is a strike Typical uh, illustration of how you'd shoot a 510. We'll give you another look at it. Kind of a, a, another sort of medium 1 3 pocket hit wall shot. The uh, 7 is the last one to go, but excellent mixing action on that ball. Steve Adney with 6 on that spare that he had in the first or in the uh, second, rather. Two matches going on at once. Sometimes it's a lot to keep track of. Sean Baker with an eight in the third. He's in the third box. Dave Chester Cove also with an eight. 
Dave has a four pin advantage over Sean through three. Mark Gregory almost with a double strike, leaving just the two pin. Piece of wood to the left of it that doesn't look like it's covering the two, so he's probably going to have to uh, make sure that he goes fairly close to that two pin. Man, sure enough, that wood just was not covering the two. It, it just spun around. Didn't cover the two. Steve Vadney with a spare, converting that 1-3-10. He hit the left side of the uh, head pin. Is that gonna, that does go for Dave Chesterkoe for a strike on the, uh, strike on lane five. John Baker will be trying to cover the two for, for a 10 box in the fourth. And he does. Here is a replay of the strike by Dave Chesterkoe in the fourth. Really high flush, maybe a little higher than high flush. One three pocket hit and that four seven eight triangle has a couple of pieces of wood stuffed in the middle of it. Finally the seven pin goes over. So that's a strike in the fourth for Dave. Mark Gregory with a seven drop. He's got the leave that Steve Vadney just converted, the one three ten. Sean Baker with a nice ball over there on lane six, but he doesn't have much to show for it. Six, seven, and ten. Piece of wood in front of the 610 that might help him, but I don't think it's at a sharp enough angle to cover the seven. Mark Gregory did convert that spare. Dave Chesterko with just six on the strike. He didn't get anything on the second ball. So he's got 48. And he's got a 10, so he picks up another two. Dave Chester Cove with 58 through 5, uh, Sean Baker 46. So you can see that uh, Vadney and Hallis and Dupuy and Gregory are tied through 5 with uh, a Mark Gregory having that spare fill. And meanwhile, uh, McKinley and Baker are leading John Starner and Dave Chester Cove by 4 plus the fill. Actually, uh, Sean McKinley and John Starner both have marks to fill, but Sean's is a strike. And John Starner has a spare in the fifth. Hawk Hallis with a half Worcester left side. Hawk had many appearances on the Channel 5 show and also on the, uh, the Channel 27 Bay State Bowling Show out of Worcester. My dad and I used to go to the tapings of that show in the uh, in the 70s. Fairly certain I remember seeing Hallis on the show during that period. Sean McKinley with nine. He is looking for his sixth mark in a row. He's got the five pin. Piece of wood that he's waiting for, waiting for it to to come to rest. Can't shoot at rolling wood, although in all of my years of bowling I've never seen a bowler called for a violation of that rule. But in any case, Sean goes right at the five pin. He doesn't mess with the wood, and that's six marks in a row. <clears throat> Sean is really on fire to start. Hawk Hallis with a nice first ball, but he doesn't have much to show for it. He's got the five, seven, and eight, and no help. But he's got it. That's a great shot by Hawk Hallis. Take another look at this in slow-mo. Perfect shot. Right side of the five. It clips the eight and then goes over and takes out the seven. Terrific shot there in the seventh. And Dave Dupuy not to be outdone. He puts a spare on the board in the seventh. John Starner dropping nine. 
Meanwhile, Sean McKinley drops seven. He's looking for his seventh mark in a row. It's going to be a tough one, though. He's got the one, eight, and ten. Piece of wood behind the head pin that might give him a little bit of help kind of bouncing things around. And let's see. Hawk Hallis with a nine drop on that spare. And Sean McKinley has it. That wood did help him a little bit, I think. He uh, hit the head pin kind of full on the left side, and I think it hit the wood and went over into the uh, the 10 pin. That's seven marks in a row for Sean McKinley. See what he can do on this mark. Again, he's on the head pin. Six drop. This one is going to be very difficult. And there is a strike by Hawk Hallis. These guys are going at it like Ali and Frazier. A couple of heavyweights really just slugging it out. High flush pocket hit by Hawk Hallis. Gets the four pin off the wall. That is really a uh, solid shot. Sean McKinley has four, seven, eight, and ten. Piece of wood out in front of the four, seven that might, and you can see it almost, almost uh, turned that into a spare. But the eight pin just fell off the deck before it had chan a chance to get over and take out the ten. That'll be a ten box for Sean McKinley. He has one thirty-two through eight. To 96 for John Starner. 36 pin lead. Ooh. Hawk Hallis with almost a double. Wow, he, he I, that was hard to believe that didn't go. That was just a, a, a pin came up behind the five pin and it looked like it was gonna take it down, but no such luck. So he doesn't have a double strike. He's got a nine drop. Still looking at the five pin. And he misses it. But Dave Dupuy returns the favor by missing the six pin. So both guys are going to be open. Hawk with a ten. And that's going to be a one... 31 game for Hawk Hallis. Dave Dupuis finishes with 121. Meanwhile, John Starner and Sean McKinley are still finishing up. John has a spare in the 10th. Uh, McKinley is going to be open in the 10th. He had a spare in the 9th and put, put a 4 fill on it. And got 4 more. Sean with 146 through 9. And he'll take an 8. So that's a 154 game for Sean McKinley. John Starner has one more ball to throw. He is going to drop 7. That's a 122 game. So going into the last last five Sean Baker has a lead of 20 pins over uh, Dave Chesterkov that is uh, Baker and McKinley are leading by 20 over uh, Chesterkov and Starner but Dave Chesterkov with a strike to begin that's a good way to start making up that 20 pins you'll see he goes Solid in the 1-3 pocket, and, and again, the 4-pin is the last one to go. Tripped off the wall there. So that's a strike in the 6th for Dave Chesterko. Sean Baker with a 7-drop. Steve Adney put a... what did he have? 
a spare in the sixth, and he puts eight on it. And another one, spare in the seventh. That gives him a 13 pin lead. So that makes it a, that would be a 23 pin lead overall for the team of Vadney and Hallis over Dipoy and Gregory. Dave Chesterkov with seven on his first ball. First uh, fill ball in the seventh. So he has, and, and Sean Baker punches out the one five. So he's really gonna have to work this one out. Be very patient. Dave Chesterkov with a spare on that strike. So he has cut, he's cut 11 pins off the lead already. Cuts it down to nine, and he's got a spare in the seventh. And Sean Baker has still got six pins on the deck, so he needs an out. And just a six box, so that is going to It's really going to tighten it up. Dave Chester Cove with a five fill. Looking at my score sheet, it's a little hard to follow both matches at the same time. But that means that Dave Chesterko and John Starner have taken the lead. Sean Baker, meanwhile, gets his first mark of the match with a very timely spare in the eighth. That picks up, uh, well, two already because of the uh, eight box by Dave Jesterko, and he will have the fill ball to to uh, add to that. 71, so he is down by 30. So it's actually a two pin deficit. But uh, Sean Baker can erase, and actually he does, but he only gets three. So that gives them, by my reckoning, a one pin lead once again. This match is going right down to the wire. by Dave Chesterkov in the ninth. And a great bid by Sean Baker in the ninth. And he'll take a 10 box. Yeah, so it's a five pin lead for, um, for Sean Baker and Sean McKinley right now. But Dave Chesterko can, anything that he gets over five will give them, his team, the lead again. And he gets nine. It's going to be a strike. Let's have a look at this once again. This is a one-two pocket hit. And again, the seven pin is the last one to go. And it takes quite a while to go, but it does go, and that gives... Chester Cove and Starner a five pin lead through through uh, through nine. Sean Baker with an eight drop. Actually it's a nine drop now. And spare that's absolutely mandatory. And he's got it. But it's a uh, it's a five pin lead right now for Starner and Chester Cove. And of course Chester Cove is filling a strike and uh, Baker is only filling a spare, so he's 
Sean needs a big ball on the spare, and he has to hope that Dave doesn't put much on that strike. Well, it's only four, so it's, it's not over yet, but Sean is going to probably need to put 10 in the pit on this ball. And he's only got six, so that's not going to be enough. So John Starner and Dave Chesterkove will win this match and move on to the next round, as will the team of uh, Hawk Hallis and Steve Vadney. And you can see the scores right there. Hallis and Vadney defeat Mark Gregory and Dave Dupuy. And John Starner and Dave Chesterkove with a five-pin win over Sean McKinley and Sean Baker.